Hey YouTube, this is Pat from Rain Country, and today I'm working on the um, chicken run gate. And so I got some more cedar that I've been saving up for years and been sitting around the yard and sitting around the yard wait, rotting away. And so I've been, you know, collecting parts and pieces of uh, that materials that I need to work on this project. So uh, I got got some more cedar one by or two by and I got it all cut down to not quite full dimension uh, lumber a typical two by four is you know three and a half by what, one and a half um, this stuff here is more like uh, oh, three and three quarters by uh, one and three quarters yeah like I say it's just scrap wood that I've had laying around that I'd uh, milled up a while back and um, had like just laying around outside I don't have a whole lot of places inside to put it because you can see my shop is just cluttered up but uh, today I have a, a split in one of the two by fours here uh, for the chicken door and so I put a little bit of waterproof glue in here and then I'll go ahead and I'll fasten that shut let that dry and I got a series of different joints here that I'm going to uh, incorporate into this door and I'll show you the details on that as soon as I get this nailed together. So I have to find out what we got for a distance. We have to run 26 and an eighth plus one inch. So 27 and an eighth so I need this much material. Yeah, you gotta find center between, you know, to get all this centered in here. So 27 and an eighth just brings me outside of this, this uh, crease here. So I gotta go to the table saw and cut out each one of these uh, to where I have all this centered. And then it'll act like a uh, well, not a raised panel, but something similar to that. Today I'm going to be assembling the access door to the chicken run. Um, got all the materials in place except for the center screen. I'm going to figure. I got to figure out what to do on the center of this. I don't know what kind of uh, if I'm just going to screen it or if I'm going to put wood slats in here. Um, my idea is to uh, build this with materials that I already have on hand around here and. Uh, try to save a little bit of money that way and I got a shop full of junk uh, doesn't make any sense to go to the store and, and buy stuff while you have it when you have materials on hand that will work um, take a little bit of take a little bit more effort to do some of this stuff but um, in the end I hope it looks good so um, I'll go ahead and get started on assembling this I'm going to use a waterproof glue to glue all the joints together and I'll fasten them with fasteners um, so uh, I'll go ahead and get started.
Hey guys, Pat here, Rain Country, and today um, I'm under orders to finish the access door to the chicken run. Yesterday, my son, he uh, got himself a real nice cabinet saw, a table saw, and nice little four-wheel drive Husqvarna um, mower and a 12 inch sliding miter saw and we're walking around this is a moving sale they got this stuff from and there's a chunk of wire um, hanging on the wall there and um, it was just what I need to finish out the chicken run door the guy said yeah take it please so um, I got this wire and it's just just barely fits to the inside of the door here. It's just barely too shy. So what I'll do is I'll build a frame for this and do my best to stretch it out. Um, I'll do a whole lot of bending and uh, manipulating on the on the side, on the corners here to try to get it nice and straight and uh, build us a little frame for this uh, door here and put it inside. And we'll have the chicken run door complete. Hey guys, Pat here again, uh, Rain Country, and today I found some hinges for the chicken coop uh, run entry gate, and uh, they're strap hinges, and so I'm going to convert them to where I can install them on a regular 4x4 post. I'm going to cut down these hinges and so I can get them to fit on a, a 3 inch on, on a post. And then also, uh, when I get get done, they'll be installed on the on the door. This part here will stay long, and this part here, we'll just go ahead and cut that off, and to where I can mount that on a regular gate post, a four by four inch gate post. So what I got going on here, I'll cut this off at three inches. So this will be all this part here will be cut away, um, and then I'll have another. I'll tap another hole in here for a fastener and then taper the edge to where it'll uh, fasten down on it. And then I'll go ahead and get these painted up. Uh, black, kind of like all my other hardware is on the chicken run so far. And let these start drying uh, while I work on the center uh, piece for the chicken run here, or the chicken run gate. Okay, now I got that flattened out as best I can and cut the size to fit this the inside of the frame on this door here. Um, I have to build another frame to go like a picture frame kind of a deal and sandwich the wire inside of it and uh, we'll see if we can't get that thing to fit in here nicely. I'm working on a gate closure for the chicken run gate and what I have so far is this is a spring from uh, 
our kids when they were young had a trampoline and the springs were constantly breaking so Heidi went ahead and bought a whole set of these springs and when one would break uh, we just go ahead and get one replaced so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this for a door closure for the uh, the chicken run so it has a it's pretty stiff spring and so what I'll do is I'll bend bend this around a little bit this is really hard and still so guys got to be careful and the reason I'm going to bend that around is to where it'll it'll keep the carriage bolt the carriage bolts going to go inside there and right now the carriage bolt can't really escape out of out of that little circumference right there so I'll 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 narrow narrow this arc down to where I can slip the bolt in to where I can slip the bolt in this way and it won't be able to shimmy out or you know come loose of the head or whatever like that see so that's what I'm that's why I'm bending at now go see now that really can't pop out of there that easy and then with the square part of the carriage bolt when that cinches down that should bite right into the right into that and then into the 4x4 this side will go into the 4x4 this side will go into the gate the gate itself and then I'll have a little nut for like a little bit of a standoff between the spring and the wood and then on the back side that's I know that's too big of a washer I want to get a wide enough washer where um, it can displace the depression on the back side of the 4x4 but that that'll be fine and then I got a nylock nut to go on that cinch that down tight on the on the post side like this will go on the post side now this other side this is going to be cedar in between here so I want this to be as uh, the pressure to be displaced as much as possible so I'll get another one of these fender washers here so that'll be a washer on the one soft side and a washer on the other side and then an eye lock on the the very back of that guy now I'm hoping that'll work to close the gate automatically okay here we are at the project that's the bottom side of the door come back here and cut off that bolt that'd be a good idea oh, hey, that seems to do the trick and, the spring. and then I'll have to build the latching here to where you can pull it tight and shut it and put a little handle on there anyway I'm gonna call it a day and thanks for watching